What's going on YouTube? I'm Jimmy Kerr and this is the Small Town Collectibles YouTube channel. Today I'm going to open up the Zobi Fright Pack. So before I get into opening up the Zobi Fright Pack, I do want to ask you guys to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so that you know when I put new content out. Uh, if you like the video or you like the contents of the box, hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment. Let us know how we're doing or, like I said, just what you thought of the box in general. So, Zobi Fright Pack, this is the last one of these that you'll see me open on here for a while. I am going to take the direction of my channel more in the comic book realm. Um, maybe doing some reviews and just some other content. Uh, not necessarily mystery boxes. You'll see some, you know, I'm still going to do mystery boxes. I love them. Uh, but I'm just going to do some other content. But I got this Zobi Fright Pack in. Uh, I don't remember ordering it. Um, I have no idea what the franchises are. And I am guaranteed not to know what any of them are. So this should be pretty entertaining. And you can crush me in the comments uh, for not knowing any of it. And I mean, I'm legit probably not going to know anything. So... So we get a t-shirt, generally get something signed. This is the what the inside of the box looks like. Let me set this over here. Of course, I'll probably knock the knock it off the table. So this is our t-shirt. All I see is that says Rush Week. So, Beta Epsilon presents the 1986 Rush Week. And it says, good news is your date is here. Bad news is he's dead. Very nice. And then let's take a minute to review this year's rules. No freaks, no creeps, no pets. And at the bottom, it says sponsored by B. No clue. Like I said, no clue what this is. But I actually do kind of dig the t-shirt. Yeah, I actually I kind of like that. I'll probably keep that. It's just weird enough to wear. All right, let's see. Next thing, we've got our enamel pin, and this one is numbered or limited to six hundred. And I do know what this is. If you guys can see that, I'll try to get it up there. That's Michael Myers. So that is Halloween. So a little Halloween at Christmas time. Kind of dig that. All right, next item. Uh, been getting uh, comic books in the last few of these, and this is another uh, Zobi exclusive variant, The Forgotten Isle. And I actually read the last one of these that I got. It was pretty good, uh, actually. Um, I ended up selling it. It's not something I would collect or keep, but I ended up reading it. It was pretty good, so I'm probably going to read this one, too. I actually really like that cover, if y'all can see that. That black and white. Kind of dig that. So cool. Next item as I reach over here. Great signature. Suzanne Snyder. That's JSA certified. Again, absolutely no clue what franchise this is from. Suzanne, she got a cool signature though. Check that out. You can see it. Yeah. So there's that. And then the last item, probably another autograph. Wow, that's pretty dope. I don't know what that is, but. So it's just kind of like a family photo with Dracula, Frankenstein, the Wolfman. The mummy. I forget what you call that, but I don't know. It's kind of cool. And it is autographed. It's JSA certified also. So let's grab our cheat sheet so we actually find out what some of these things are. Oh, that's the Happy Halloween. And Jay, here's our cheat sheet. So there we go. All right. So let's get into it here. So. Your 11 by 14 photo was hand signed by either Dracula or the Mummy in the Monster Squad 1987. 
Duncan Rieger or Michael Reed McKay. So mine was definitely signed by Duncan Rieger. So that's your uh, 11 by 14 photo. I don't know. I like it. Don't know how. I don't have a clue what that is. What a clue what the Monster Squad is from 1987. But I like it. Your eight by ten photo was hand signed by Debbie Stone and Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Suzanne Snyder. So this one would be from Killer Clowns in Outer Space. All right. Next item. Your comic book has an exclusive cover of issue four of the Forgotten Isle. So that's our exclusive cover. And then you had two pin choices here. Uh, there was one that was out of 100 and one out of 600. Your exclusive enamel pin features one or two designs inspired by Halloween. Get that up there a little bit so you can see it a little better. So there you go. And then our T-shirt. Night of the Creeps, 1986. So this is Night of the Creeps, 1986. Very nice. And it says that there should be one other thing in here, and there is. And this is our prop replica. And it says this prop replica was inspired by Van Helsing, 2004. Oh, snap. I did just say, oh, snap. Yeah, you heard it here. So it's a needle, prop replica needle from Van Helsing. So check that out. Hmm. So that and give them a shot. I don't remember what for. I did watch that movie but I don't remember what the uh, significance of the needle is, but it's really heavy. It's really nice, very well made, very cool prop replica. Let's see. I'll figure this out later. So yeah, prop replica, Van Helsing. All right, so let me know in the comments what you thought about the box. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Again, nothing I know, but I will 100% keep this t-shirt. Cause I like that. I just like the colors, brush wig. I like the, just the, I just like it. So that will stay with me. Some of this other stuff will go for sale on my eBay store. I, but probably these pictures, I'll probably read this comic book and sell it. Cause it's not something that I collect. Um, definitely the autograph photos, even though I think this one is kind of cool. So so in the description below, you will you can find the information for Zobi because uh, Zobi does have a lot of cool stuff. And I may at the end of this video drop um, something that I got from Zobi. Not maybe, I will. Uh, and it is, I got a signed Funko Pop from Johnny Lawrence or the guy that plays Johnny Lawrence on Cobra Kai and the Karate Kid. And uh, they do what's called a V shout. And um, he says, what's up, Jimmy? You know, I don't know. You'll see. Just hang around to the end and you'll get to see the uh, V Shao from Johnny Lawrence. So uh, himself from the Karate Kid. All right, guys, that's it for this Zobi Fright Pack box. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember to go and check out my series, 10 Questions. There is a playlist here on the channel uh, with all those interviews. Uh, this week's interview, uh, you're going to get to see Bub's comics. We had a phenomenal interview. Like That guy was really fun to talk to. Uh, has been a big supporter of my channel since getting started. And he's also a fellow Kentuckian, which is cool. So uh, we had a great, great conversation. You're going to get a lot of really good information out of that interview. So I hope you guys dig it. I um, hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. And um, as we always end these things, Zobie Fright Pack, until next time. What's up, Jimmy? Here's your Cobra Kai Pop, signed by me. Thank you for watching the show. See you at the dojo, buddy. No mercy.